All right, so now I'm back at home, I'm ready to get started. So let's get together all the things that we're going to need to do this experiment. So to do this experiment, since we want to look at some DNA, the first thing we're going to need is something that has DNA in it. I'm going to use some delicious strawberries as my source of DNA, but other fruits and some vegetables might work as well. So some other fruits that you might want to try are kiwis or bananas. I'd advise not using your little sister or pet as your source of DNA. Maybe another time. The next thing that you're going to need is a little sandwich baggie, sealable preferably. It helps to also have a source of water nearby or a little bit of water. And I also have this clear glass right here. If you have a test tube, that's great, but a clear glass works just fine. I also have a teaspoon measure, a quarter teaspoon. It's not strictly necessary, but it could come in handy. The next two parts are very important. I have some dishwashing detergent, and the exact kind of dishwashing detergent, or even the fact that it's dishwashing detergent, isn't that important. In fact, you might want to try out an experiment to see what kinds of dishwashing detergent or soap works best. So you could try dishwashing detergent or hand soap, maybe even shampoo, and experiment with it and see what gives you the best results. And finally, another important part of this experiment is some rubbing alcohol. And I've put my rubbing alcohol in the freezer so that it gets really cold while I start the rest of the experiment. And so this is... This is just the kind of rubbing alcohol you could get at a pharmacy or a grocery store. Uh, the kind that, you know, your mom helps clean your cuts with. I'm going to go put this back in the freezer so it gets really cold, and I would suggest that you do the same. Now that we have all the things that we need to do this experiment, let's do it. So as I mentioned before, in order to get the DNA out of the cells, first we're going to have to break down the walls around the cell, the cell membrane, the cell wall. So, this is the fun part. The way that we're going to do that is to just squish it. So what I'm going to do now is put about two or three strawberries in here. Maybe eat one. Um, it's not important to cut off the tops, but you can if you want. Now I'm going to add a little bit of water, just a little to help make it a little li more liquidy, easier to pour. Seal the sandwich baggie so we don't make a big mess. And start squishing. So you gotta squish it up really nice and good. Get all break down all of these cell membranes, all the cell walls here, so that we can get more DNA out. So what we're making here, so what we're doing here is just breaking down all of those outer cell walls, cell membranes so that all of the cell guts are now in this water. So we're making cell gut, strawberry cell gut soup here. So, squished up my strawberries. I've got a strawberry cell gut soup. And so what I wanna do now is separate out you know, the chunky bits that are still left in here from my liquidy strawberry cell gut soup that should have the nucleus with the DNA inside it. So what I'm doing now is just pouring off all the liquid into my clear glass. So you want to avoid getting the chunks of strawberry that might be left in there in the glass. It's okay if some of it comes out. If you want to strain out more of the chunks, you can use a coffee filter or a cheesecloth. Okay, so here's the poured off liquid bits of our strawberry cell gut soup. If you look closely, uh, I don't really see anything that looks like DNA yet. It's just strawberry guts. All we did was break down the outside of the cell, the cell membrane. But remember, the DNA is kept inside that special room, the nucleus. Now we have to break down the walls of the nucleus. So how are we going to do that? Well, it turns out that the nucleus 
the walls of the nucleus are actually made out of something called a lipid. And basically, it's just fat. So how can we break down fat? Well, if you think about when you're cooking and you get grease and fat on your dishes, what do you need to do to get rid of that grease? We use soap. So that's what we're going to be using the dishwashing detergent for. So next, just pour out you know, a quarter teaspoon or more, a little less, something to experiment with. I'm going to use a quarter teaspoon and I'm going to mix up, mix up the soap in here and try to break down the nucleus walls. You want to mix it really well, make sure it kind of gets bubbly. So you got to break down those nucleus walls to get the DNA out. You could also try just adding the soap directly to the little sandwich baggie after you squished it and mixing it up in there. Okay, so now once it's nice and kind of foamy, you know that we've broken down some walls here. Have a little look at, at your soapy strawberry cell gut soup and still we don't really see any DNA. At least I don't see anything yet. So why don't we see anything yet? I mean we broke down the walls around the cell, we broke down the nucleus walls, so the DNA should be floating around in here, right? But we don't see it, and that's because the DNA can actually dissolve in this liquid. It's kind of like dissolving sugar in water. So what we need to do is add something here that DNA doesn't like and can't dissolve in, and that's the rubbing alcohol. So go ahead and get your cold rubbing alcohol out of the freezer now. So it turns out, DNA really doesn't like alcohol. So when we add the alcohol here, what's going to happen is the DNA can't dissolve in the alcohol, and it, when there's a lot of DNA, it'll clump up and you'll get to see it. So we're going to add it in a special way. We want to add it very slowly so that we form two separate layers, like oil and water. Tilt your glass and slowly pour the rubbing alcohol on top so that they don't mix. That's why you want to do it really, you want to pour it really slowly so that the two liquids don't mix. You want there to be a big separation like oil and water. And so what we see here, soapy strawberry cell gut soup on the bottom rubbing alcohol on the top. You can see right there all that white stringy stuff that's coming up. That's the strawberry's DNA. Pretty cool, huh? All that white bubbly stuff that's coming up there has all the instructions for making an entire strawberry plant. So I hope you've enjoyed this little experiment. And if you feel like you didn't get a lot of DNA, you can, there's some things you can experiment with, like how much soap you use, or what kind of soap, or how many strawberries, or other kinds of things that have DNA in it. So thank you, and keep experimenting.